So today I'm going to show you how to remove a outboard engine off of your boat. So the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the steering arm like this. Um, you're going to have probably two washers and a nut. You want to just put them back on your steering arm. You want to come on this side. Get some pliers. And as you can see, this thing that is rotating, you want to unscrew that completely. So after you disconnected this, you're going to pull. So as you can see, I pushed mine all the way through. And if yours doesn't want to come out, it's okay because once we take out the four bolts um, that are holding to the transom, we can scoot the engine to the left and then we can remove this if this won't come out. So now we're going to disconnect the fuel line. That. So the next step is I'm going to disconnect the, um, the battery terminals to the engine. So after you disconnected the battery terminals, you want to um, grab your leads from here and you want to feed them through just like that. So next we're going to disconnect your uh, your throttle cable and your um, forward which reverse. So on this Yamaha engine you also have to take out the uh, middle bolt also and it's going to come out just like that. Once you remove that you're going to come in here. You're going to, uh, you could use your fingers or pliers, pliers is better. Pull that, it'll come out. And then this one. Pull that, come out. Remove the cable. And then make sure you put the pins back so you don't lose them because they're really small and you could really lose them. So this is the next step, we're going to take the harness off, it, this one's twistable, so it's going to go like that. Pull that off, and then you could just separate it, just like this. And you have this little plate right here, and then this is a rubber, rubber piece. I'm going to take this off, then I'm going to put everything back together so I don't lose anything. So. Like that. This piece goes on top. And then this piece goes on top. Just gonna screw it in just a little bit. It's a good idea to put everything back like it was so nothing gets missing later. So right now everything is disconnected. You might just want to wrap the battery cables around the engine when we pull it off. But the next, the last step is uh, taking these bolts off. So I unloosened these already. There might be a washer and and um, some other stuff. You just want to take everything off like that. Same thing on this side. We want to take off. Okay, so for this step, uh, make sure that all your bolts, I mean, your nuts are off of the screws. And um, you're gonna need a hammer for this step because we have to hammer these in, the transom. So after you um, hammered in the screws, uh, we want to hammer it uh, a more until it's flush with the transom so you want to use a punch or a flathead just make them flush with the transom on all four so as you can see uh, I pushed I pushed in the bolt all the way flush to the transom and you don't have to worry about the motor falling because in the back here as you can see there it's holding right on the transom so everything is ready to go it's loose I mean I can lift it 
This motor weighs, I believe, is 189 pounds exactly. And uh, the next step is we're gonna. Um, you could lift it with two people right now and put it on an engine stand, but for me, there's only one person, and I'm just gonna use my engine hoist to take it right off and lower it on my engine stand. So right now I have the engine hoist uh, hoisted over the engine. And for this Yamaha, I do have to take the cover off. Uh, the reason is the reason why behind that is because uh, the cover gets in the way when I put the hook in. So it's really easy to just three um, screws and the cover will come right off. All right, so I'm gonna put the hook in right now. As you can see, fits once I took that cover off. And now I'm just gonna jack it up slowly. And uh, just like that, um, we want to watch out for your battery cables because they might be dragging, wrap it around the engine, and you can just pull the engine out. As you can see, um, here are your cables, your fuel hose, your harness to the control box, and. That's pretty much um, how to remove your engine off. And now I'm gonna show you how to disconnect your heart, um, your control box and everything to take that out because we're gonna need that also. So what I'm doing now is I'm lowering it onto um, my outboard stand and I have these C-clamps because once the engine is down, I'm gonna hold it down with these C-clamps. So that's what I'm doing right now. So now what I'm doing is, uh, well the engine is on the stand right now, I'm gonna take the control box out of the boat, so I need to feed um, the cables through. You have to know which ones are the right ones. So you're gonna have these two cables. Um, and a cable roll. trying to get it through. Gonna get the harness through where it plugs into the engine. See? It's easier on this boat to take everything out because it's all open. On other boats, it's a little more than difficult if they run the stuff through the floor. Okay, so we have all that out. And now we have to take um, these Phillips screws out. And there, sh there might be uh, a nut on the other side holding it or not. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna remove those screws right now. And yeah, there is, um, I feel a nut back here, so. So as you could see, uh, after removing everything, um, it came out and now I could just take the cables and the whole box out. I mean, it's really easy. That's how you take the control box out. 